Welcome to Gaming Fin, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the financial markets. And my friends, today we have to talk about Ubisoft. Ubisoft, Ubisoft. So you see, I already have the news open. But what is important? So Ubisoft is today down minus 7.26% in Paris, in Paris. And so and if we look at the chart, so here's the chart, the overall chart. So we, that you always see where we have been, for example, in 2016. Oh my God, that's so long time ago. Huh, guys, honestly, honestly, there's a big risk that we even might fall to the 18 to 15 euros again after dropping now to 2082, 2082. So we're almost there again where we have been in the beginning of last year. So it's a lost year more or less for investors that were not selling on the top. So what um what am I doing? So maybe maybe that's very interesting for most for most of you that are watching now very quickly because I'm also going to some reasons that I think are behind this. So what am I going? So I have a little order, a little order in the market to average down. So it's a really tiny tiny order. So it's not a lot, and uh, we are not there yet. We are not there yet. So I cannot give you precise where it's where it's going to be, but that's what I'm going to do because long term I still think Ubisoft is interesting. And at the moment we're getting again cheaper, 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 and uh, well, let's say long term if they are able to to get out of the situation they're in, of course, at the moment. So therefore, I'm always saying, so Ubisoft, what are you doing? Just make good games and release the good games, of course. So therefore, guys, long term, small small position to average down a little bit more because uh, here we didn't get over the Fibonacci retracement at 30 euros so it simply didn't work out so if we start again to get over this everything in general needs to look better for the whole gaming industry it has to look better that's 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 something we have to keep in mind so of course the macro the the overall context situation needs to be better and then in such a context of course Ubisoft can also thrive uh, because at the moment, uh, like a lot of the other uh, gaming uh, companies, uh, European gaming companies also, like here CD Projekt is also down, uh, uh, they they just get punished. So even here CD Projekt so could even fall again to 87. Or we look at, uh, at Embracer, those are all of those three are the biggest uh, uh, gaming companies uh, in, uh, yeah, in, in Europe, I would even say one of the biggest gaming companies in Europe. And they all of three have a pretty similar pretty similar image so if you look at this it looks pretty similar so therefore you could even assume ha, ah, some insiders are selling it's a market situation so i make a big question mark by insider because obviously i don't know uh, but do in do insiders know something uh, about the performance about the earnings uh, that we don't know so all of this is of course uh, possible all of this is possible so if we go here for example now uh, to the ubisoft uh, investor relation page we see q3 sales are coming february the 8th so in like uh, three weeks in three weeks so until then we don't have any news any news any news here so therefore there is something some people know something otherwise people wouldn't sell that much of course so then we have this games industry article so new ubisoft plus and getting gamers comfortable with owning with not owning their games getting them comfortable with not owning their games so really i have to repeat this i have to repeat this again so guys as you always know i cannot read those articles of course because uh, there's uh, games industry is fighting them and i always recommend you to go on this page it's a great page i don't have any affiliation any partnership with them actually i should uh, start a partnership with games industry so let's see if they see my videos games industry so would would love to have a partnership actually with you since i really like your page but, but yeah I'm not going to go in the article, of course, I'm not doing this. So, but we can go, for example, we can, for example, click here on the news 18 minutes ago. Here was a news updated and we see also here gaming subscription should gamers get comfortable not owning their video games. Ubisoft executive thanks here again. So this is the, this is the executive Philip Tremble Gautier, director of subscription at Ubisoft. So, and um, yeah. So overall, he discusses the he discusses the fact uh, that uh, that uh, that people should get or 
that he, he expects that gamers get comfortable uh, with subscription services because Ubisoft has now uh, a two-layered uh, subscription service. It's the Ubisoft Premium Plus. Here we go. So I'm better showing this to you. It's, it's always easier. So that's Ubisoft Plus. Ubisoft Plus. This is now in, I think, in dollar terms. In dollar terms. So Ubisoft Plus. And then they have Ubisoft Plus Classic. So play iconic games. Here we are. Uh, play the iconic games uh, at a low price with our new plan. And then they have the Ubisoft Plus Premium. That's where you can play the, the new Avatar game, uh, Mirage, Assassin's Creed, etc. So also. Also, the motor fast. Uh, all those games are, for example, in the Ubisoft Plus Premium. And then you can get even with the re Ubisoft Plus Premium, you get like, for example, of also early uh, early access uh, to to some of those games. So, and those are the prices now in dollar terms: so eight dollars and eighteen dollars. I could now, for example, imagine that some that some of the investors were thinking, "Hmm, so if we're not going to have." everything in premium and it everything costs eighteen dollars so because they make now eight dollars eight dollar subscription for the older games this means people that want to play the older games then are uh, getting this cheaper subscription and actually they were having the subscription service the eighteen dollars the premium for all of the games already uh, priced in so this is maybe a reason it falls then over seven percent i mean everything is possible I, for example, I would take the premium because I wouldn't like to play the old games. I would like to play the new games that comes out, new releases, one day early access. So I had this actually for a couple of months. But then again, this is here also then the problem with those subscription services. Sometimes you play a game. Subscription doesn't mean streaming, so that's very important. Subscription means that you have you can you have to still download the games, and it's like if you would have bought the game, but you but you haven't bought uh, if they enter subscription, then obviously your game. Uh, uh, disappears from your uh, from your library, but uh, your progress actually stays until you uh, until you get again into the subscription. So you subscribe, and then you can download all of those games. And mostly, you don't have to, the time really to play. And sometimes you just stop playing a game, and then the subscription is continuing to run, to run, and you pay for it. So, so subscription fatigue is a thing. Uh, and that's also in the article of Games Biz, a uh, games industry biz. And I personally. I have this subscription fatigue at one point. So I have like uh, Disney Plus, I have Netflix, Amazon Prime, and I have some, some other couple of subscriptions, EA Play, for example. So I'm, I am I stopped actually my Ubisoft uh, Plus subscription because I think it was in the end, I was not playing enough to justify the $18. It would mean I would have played actually at least 18 hours. That's my calculation that I have uh, to justify this. So, but sometimes if a new game comes out, then it's kind of cool to, to immediately uh, play it and also for this little amount. On the other hand, I'm waiting now that those games come to Steam and then I'm buying them late for $18, for $18, $15. I buy them on screen, uh, on screen, on Steam. So that's that's what I'm doing. So and then also with uh, this whole uh, classic premium, the discussion then here in the article, in the article is then about uh, that people are not comfortable ab uh, that about not owning their games. And uh, even GOG was <laughs> posting then today uh, that he, that on GOG, uh, GOG.com, so that's from CD Projekt Red, the, uh, the, the platform, that, <laughs> that they're proud that you can own the games there. So, But it's just like CDs and DVDs, so I like to own my, I like to own my products now digital, so I'm over over physically owning. I actually don't want to own anything physically me anymore, but I want to own it on the on the on my PC kind of in my in my launcher in my library. I like to own it. So that's now this change now for me. So therefore I have like over 5000 uh, games that I thought like I'm owning digital other people come then critics say yeah not even on steam not even in those launchers you really own you really own your games uh, and even in those launchers it's, it's simply it's simply that you yeah when they shut down the when they shut down the game and those launchers or they can just take it away i mean no one comes in your house and takes away your your super nintendo modules uh, 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 not even nintendo is doing this uh, coming in your house and taking away your game boy modules your super nintendo n64 modules uh, or your playstation cds so every console that has no internet connection is working forever 
the moment they have an internet connection, they can actually uh, block games from, from far away. That's possible. So in case uh, you can only play when you're connected to the internet. And then, of course, all of those launchers, that's, again, a total other uh, situation. In this case, uh, they can block the games immediately from us. So therefore, people like to own. So is this a reason, my friends? Now, honestly, is this a reason that Ubisoft drops then? Ah, that... Ubisoft drops in, uh, over seven percent, almost seven and a half percent, for this. That they say, yeah, streaming is coming, streaming is coming. So, uh, is it is it because of the Activision that they got the the rights of Activision to stream Call of Duty? If I understood it correctly, it's only for the streaming of the Activision games of Call of Duty. So it's not for having them in the subscription service. Uh, they want to put games in the streaming of the subscription service. So that's that's actually an interesting point. But then the uh, the executive, the CEO says, uh, 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 probably streaming is not coming so fast. And let's be honest, so streaming is not coming in countries where the internet is not good. Streaming is not coming in, in rural countryside where the internet is not so good. So if, if you have a fiber, one gigabit... Uh, 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 connection then obviously streaming makes sense but for most people in europe i don't know in the us uh, how the internet connection in general is but for most people in europe the internet connection is not that good so streaming is not happening and honestly streaming is on pc i mean ah guys come on you play really the game only like the developer wanted so and i like to change things uh, in my game so I, I actually don't know if if you stream games can you actually change also graphic settings so good question yes but what are we doing with the stock i would say i'm doing nothing right now so i'm just letting it run i'm just letting it run guys so, and if now obviously it runs down and let's see maybe it's going to hit my new price uh, price set uh, my order set uh, which is a little bit more down the road here and then i'm going to buy some more chairs so i'm observing uh, those uh, those companies very very careful it's pro probably 2024 it's going to be again a very challenging year for the gaming industry but i'm an optimist my friends i'm an optimist so if after those two terrible years, I mean, for example, Ubisoft is starting in 21, so 24 is done. Oh my god, it's like done four terrible years. Four terrible years up after four terrible years, maybe the sun is coming again. So, here 2008, it was also terrible, it was terrible from 2008 until 2011. Three years, three years terrible. So, and here it's also going to be terrible. It's going to be terrible, that's for sure. But it hurts, and at one point it will get better again if the company survives. If the company is not surviving because they don't have quality games, we have a problem. But Ubisoft has quality games. They have games with value. They have IP brands with value, so that's very important. Therefore, I'm still optimistic in the long term. So, But the stock can go down further. And this is not financial advice, my friends. This is for entertainment and information purposes only please do your own research guys and <laughs> i can only say please 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 don't buy anything that you hear from someone on youtube so with that i'm leaving it here thank you very much and check out my other videos sometimes some videos are actually more successful than others so, but i wanna i hope that actually all my videos are going to have the same level of success at one point this would be Amazing. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.